So I've been doing a, a discussion with a friend about the rapture, and it's very interesting to find out the origins of these doctrines. I found out on the internet that most Christians today believe in the rapture, in this, in this uh, theory. So I like to find the truth, I like to seek what the Bible says, so I think it's important to find out when this was so three questions I have for you guys if you believe the doctrine. Number one, if Paul taught the secret rapture doctrine in the Bible, then uh, 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 when we go back to the writings of the first century Christians and we read the books of all these people, the many, many hundreds of books, we find out that none of them taught the rapture. So this is a strange question. Like if Paul taught this and Paul, Paul sometimes spent six months, one year in one, one location, one church, went to different ones, Ephesus, he went to uh, Spirna, Pergamos, Tatara, Galatians, Thessalonica. So all these churches, we find the writings, the preachers, the pastors, and all these people, and we find out that that uh, none of them ever taught the rapture doctrine. So the question is why? If Paul really, uh, if Paul uh, went to preach to these people. Won't they know? Won't they hear the, 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 the belief of the two second comings? Yes. So the question is, why don't we have this in, uh, in uh, non, no Christians almost like there's only one <coughs> quotations <coughs> of someone that seems to talk about the church being taken away before everything. But the, like 99% of all Christians that ever lived until the 18th century thought that there was a second coming one second coming and that's finished but if this doc if this doctrine is really in the bible the thing is just, it would have been taught that's the thing like if you're honest we find out that if this had been taught in the first century if paul taught it and went to preach for years all over the asia minor and everything then all these churches would have been teaching this the question is why didn't these churches teach this belief why all of them only taught the second coming then we find out that this was taught by two Jesuit priests, Rivera and Lacunza. It came around the 18th century. So they read books, they wrote books in the 16th century, something like this. And then nothing uh, came out to light until the 18th century when, when Irving came out, then Darby, then Schofield, and all these people, and then it just spread like wildfire. So it would mean that God is a liar because uh, the doctrine of the apostles was the pure doctrine that came from Jesus. Jesus taught the apostles, and the apostles taught the early churches of the first centuries. They came out from the apostles, and so they taught exactly what Jesus was teaching. They taught exactly what Paul was teaching. It means that Paul and Peter and the apostles and Jesus were liars. Because if, uh, if they, they, they told people there was only one second coming, and then around the 18th century, everything changed. It's not just, just the rapture and the two comings. It's about every prophetic interpretation of the New Testament, everything of the Bible is totally changed when it comes around the 18th century. The Antichrist is in the future, the days are not years, but days, and everything, everything is changed, and Jerusalem is going to be rebuilt. Everything. So everything that was taught, it changed, everything. So it means that everything that Paul and Jesus taught the apostles, well, a complete lie, because uh, according to the secret rapture doctrine, in the 18th century, then the truth was given out. So many of the sermons of Paul and Jesus, they were totally nonsense, because the truth came out in the future. So willfully, Jesus, willfully, the Father, willfully, Paul, everything, they taught lies to people, and they deceived people for 16 centuries, millions and millions and millions of Christians would have been deceived by Paul, everything, and in the 18th century, God says, oh, but all of you, the millions of Christians, I told you lies. I'm a liar. I told you lies. And today now, in the 18th century, what's going to happen is the truth came out that the days are really days. And, and uh, so this is nonsense. I mean, this is, <laughs> it means God to be a liar. Number three, the Jewish Jesuit organization was founded by Ignatius de Loyola. He's a man that founder that created the Inquisition. The goal of the Jesuits was to destroy, to kill, to boil, to stray, 
to strangle, to bury alive, to cut the heads, to burn alive Protestants for hundreds of years. I mean, the goal of the Jewish equalization was to destroy Protestantism. They could not destroy Protestantism by killing everything, so they got the idea of these two men, La Kunza and Rivera, would write books. These books would change that the Antichrist is not the papacy. So the days cannot be the years, they're going to be days in the future. Then the rapture is going to be the future, and everything must change by this plan that willfully wanted to destroy Protestantism. We see that today the Protestantism is destroyed. There is no Protestant church today that's protesting anything because every belief they had was transformed, was changed, was turned around. The only one is the Adventist church that still continues the same teachings as the apostles, as the fantasies, as the Protestant Reformation, and as uh, today. So this is very interesting the fact that how can books and the belief that was made to deceive and to destroy Protestantism could be true? It means that these men, when they try to deceive and write things, the only way that that could be true is that God turned around this deception he was writing this this Buddhist priest into into something true. But that's not possible. I mean, if the goal was to deceive and destroy Protestantism, it's a deception. So if you have any any uh, if you guys have any uh, argument, you can give it under the video. Have a good day.